These are my taro roots. Hungor by pan neshi pan. You know. Very small. This is the other PA plant. Now I'm gonna plant here more because they have sun here. Yeah, look at the look at the condition of the garden. I don't know what's going on. But this one, this part, is the last to harvest now. This this kale over here. We're almost at the end of the green harvest. Then we're gonna start with the tomato slowly and then we're gonna plant cabbage very soon our trip was so wonderful staying with the family for two nights was like so awesome they make us feel like home like for me I felt like I was home because Mimi let me do whatever I want I cook so relaxed we had so much fun we laugh it was so good. It was great. My husband is saying now that let's go there and spend like five days next time. And Mimi said her son is like saying, Auntie and uncle is coming today because I told them to come back every day. So cute. Yeah. Okay, so here. Let's hope that it will grow, yeah? What do you think? Come kate. Thank you very much. I'm going to I'm gonna water it later. Something is better than nothing. And ah, this is our tomatillos. Pomodoro. It's not so good this year. My mother in law was right. We're supposed to have more fruits, you guys. Not too much this year. Last year was more. But it's all good. Still good, huh? Still good, ah. Uh. We're gonna take some today because my in-laws are not coming for a while, so we'll be on the ground if they don't come soon. Okay, that's it. <laughs> they kill all the blitva. What is kakuzi zove blitva? Yeah, kakuzi zove blitva. Charred greens. They killed everything. I don't understand why. Why is this apples everything on the ground? All the apples are on the ground. So yeah, not too much on the tree anymore. Maybe we should pick it up, yeah? What do you think? Otherwise, they're all gonna land on the ground and... How beautiful they look. Look at this. Gorgeous. Maybe I should pick it up, yeah? What do you think guys? So we're gonna pick up some kale today for some friends and for us too. I will try and uh, The gate is open. They went to buy Bella's food. I will try and uh, freeze them Because lots of you suggest to freeze the kale And after that there will be no more greens are over Now we're going to plant the uh, well, cabbage over here and then tomatoes and that's it that is it okay apples in serbian we call it yabuga you see i cannot speak serbian properly but i know almost all the names of the fruits and vegetables in serbian because names of especially vegetables are very catchy or fruits, for example, apple is yabuka. Mm -hmm. Yabuka. Anyway, after I harvest all this kale, I don't know what else to grow here. Maybe nothing, yeah? Nothing, eh? Maybe my parents in law will grow, grow some uh, cabbage over here, I think. The chameleon plant. You need to give them space, you know? Now, see, they're growing more healthy. I took out the old ones and yesterday I gave it like some to Mimi also. And then I took a lots and lots of mint. You see, mint also in Serbian is called Nana. <laughs> Nana. And she gave me this one too to grow in my pot. I'm making Thai food, so I need mint, but I have lots in the bag. 
And she gave me ghost pepper powder, <sighs> beans. She have a beautiful kitchen garden, very big. If you follow us on a mukbang channel, and if you don't, please follow us. The link is down below. It's called Ape. It's mukbang channel. Someone from America, Native American. He or she was asking me um that the person likes our um traditional gongsang jaji, the traditional uh, necklace. Yeah. The person was asking me like, where can I get it? So. Uh, is there any online thingy that shipped to the other foreign country? Please let me know you guys. I'll give him or her one, but I just have that one. That's the only thing I brought from home. My mom made that for me. And it's really beautiful, yeah? So he was asking me where can I get it. I like it so much. Native Americans are like, for me, they remind me so much of my people. Maybe because they're also indigenous people. Yeah. Caliente, mucho. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's my time now, so I need to say something, yeah? Mm? You didn't see me for a while. So my wife is now in a rampage mode of killing the kale, which is all over the garden. And um, we're gonna, I think, we're gonna pick most of it, yeah, baby? Mm -hmm. We're gonna pick most of it, of it yeah? yeah? And then uh, we're gonna, Again, give it to other people because okay. we are we are caring. And Stop it! Ah, uh, we are caring, baby. We have a lot. Ah, yeah, we do. And we like to share. Yeah. So, uh, let's see how is it done, eh? <coughs> you got too many of them now. Instead of knife, I was th I'm thinking of using this, yeah? And they are so hard. So hard, like like a cabbage stem. Do you think we need to put this in the... In the... Uh, compost? Thing? Compost? Yeah, I'll put it later, no problem. Maybe they don't want it, your parents. Well, everything goes to compost, baby. Everything... No, because some of them, they don't put it in the compost where there's a butterfly. Uh, Eggs at all. You know your parents. I don't. I met them. I met them first time. <laughs> okay, so when you went to the store with Bella, I was filming myself, and then my eyes were so swollen, and this eyelid was like covering my whole eye. I didn't know that that happens when you get older. Hmm, it's not an oldness. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, we are going to harvest like some of this and then I'm going to leave some for somebody who lives in Belgrade and she asked for it, but right now she's not home. So maybe it's going to be after two weeks. I don't even know what's the date today, baby. 21st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. <laughs> yeah, next month. I will leave it and then it's for somebody who asked for this kale from uh, Belgrade. She says she can never find kale in Belgrade. I've never seen kale in Belgrade either. Anyway. <coughs> While my wife is working there, I'm just going to tell you a couple of things about our trip in Priapolia, yeah? Priapolia. Priapolia, because I know how to say it, okay? <laughs> uh, oh, look, it's a bumblebee. Beautiful. I don't know if you guys see it, but it's on the flower. Yeah. Anyway, so big shout out to Slobo and uh, Mimi. They were a perfect host. Yeah. I think we made uh, uh, long-lasting friendships there. Yeah. And I really, really enjoyed it. Like I felt relaxed. Like you know, you go to the seaside and you just sit on a terrace, and we were just. Uh, really really relaxed and enjoying they were really really nice and good hosts like it's a serbian tradition baby to be a good host not in belgrade but around it you can find real people like slob and mimi <laughs> but 
I really, really like you it. Found, you found a uh, tanku, but from Rupe in Serbia is a treat for you, baby. Yeah. You are lucky. And you found me in <laughs> Serbia, that's also lucky. But nevertheless, I think we're gonna go there like as soon as we can again. And uh, we're gonna hang out with uh, Slobo and Mimi and their kids. Definitely a lot. A lot. Bella here. Love their kids. She wanted to go and sleep with them in the in the room all yeah, the time. Yeah, so sniffing the room. All she of the, baby. all all through the night she was going through their door and wanted to go inside. But <laughs> and uh, hi to Slobo Mimi. Hi to Vasil. Hi to Rosa. Vasil. Rosa. I love Rosa. You. Yes. So guys, be good. We'll see each other soon. And if. Uh, from my side sorry if Sharon if you're watching this this is all for you now you gotta come back soon yeah yes Sharon this is you see how much so we need to eat it all <laughs> yeah so I'll see you when you get home I leave this for you girl yeah uh, that's uh, my take on our little trip in Priepol yeah because I can say it so beautiful <laughs> yeah the scenery is just unbelievable, you know? Just keep watching the vlog. Yeah. Back to the harvesting. If there is a snare, I will die here right now, yeah? You know that, right? Don't die, baby. My back hurts. I cannot carry you far. Look at this. This is almost the end of uh, our kale harvesting. And... I'm trying to cut off the yellow parts just to make them survive a little bit but I think if we just cut them off then they're not gonna die and they're gonna give us shoots even next year so I'm gonna have to talk to his parents to let me have this place and not just to kill everything that's what I'm thinking and uh, today we're gonna get some kale for our friend and Sharon we're waiting for you then we're gonna cut everything and then I am thinking yesterday Mimi gave me organic uh, mustard uh, seeds so I was thinking like kill all this uh, kale cut it let some of the stems stays and um, put the seeds of mustard greens on this ground please let me know because I have no idea um, yesterday I came to know that um, if you have seeds honey I've learned something now yesterday if you have seeds from this year yeah. and then you don't use it this year yeah. the next year you cannot use it? yeah there's a possibility that they're not gonna grow hmm. and I think that's what happens to my um, cayenne peppers and uh, this perilla seeds and okay. with the umurok too coast pepper so you know it's it's a possibility because back uh, at home in our place we always take seeds from the same year and then keep it for the next year and the next year we don't use the old ones as far as i can remember so yeah how you going mate i'm doing fine mate we're going home after this yeah i think we have enough care for irena and boki yeah, I think yeah? Some of you suggested I should uh, uh, these things freeze them. I will, but still there's way too many. I will do it when the, the, last, harvest the last harvest I'll do it. Oh, I thought you're still there. Okay, I'm gonna put this and I'll pick up the tomatoes. Mm. Tomatillos. Turn around, let me see those let me see them apples. Them apples? Yeah. Them some apples. Nice. Put it in a basket. Mm. <laughs> no, really, you can put it in a basket. What basket? See this one. Really? But it goes for Boki and Irena, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. No, Vasilia. Yeah. And Luca. Not Luca, what's his name? <laughs> Vuk. Vukan. They all have the same name, so. Vukan. Sorry. Vukan. Wolfen. Uh, a little bit of like here and there, but, that's but it's way better to eat this 
a small bite than going to the uh, supermarket and get a whole bunch. You know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Um, I need to go check more in the garden and uh, so everything is done for today. We gotta go. Uh, the weather is getting a little bit dark. So, um, like I said, as the time goes by, the harvest is getting smaller, lesser and lesser, smaller and smaller. But fruits, we have these fruits. I know I pick it up from the, the ground, but come on, you guys. This is so good. Oh my gosh, my nails, Jesus. And if there is any kind of worm inside, that means worm inside, that means it's organic. That's why there's worm, you know? If there's pesticides and all, there's not gonna be any worm. So I'm gonna give this to my friends, uh, two little boys, and this vegetables is for them. So guys, you saw everything. Hope you like the farm as you always do. Thank you for your support. Yeah. Uh, this is going to come out after the traveling vlog. After two vlogs. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll see it. The rain is coming, so we need to hurry up. We need to hurry up. We need to wash everything, close the door, close everything, and then hurry yeah. home. So yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you for Thanks being so with us. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Being with us all the time. Our <laughs> now we finish with all the greens now it's time for tomatoes for the reds and then next month <laughs> we're gonna start planting uh, cabbage yeah yeah good stay with us guys if you have any suggestion please leave it below mm -hmm. as always we don't know anything about gardening we are trying our best everything is itches honey mm. let's say bye baby bye bye thanks for watching everybody see you guys be good I don't know.